Muhammad Ali here <clears throat> coming live inside the groups or on my profile or on YouTube, different channels, right? Um, I'm coming live because we uh, promised to be doing a quick uh, live stream on Hot Prospector, which is a tool that's right now selling on digitalthink.io. If you haven't checked it, check it out. It's a powerful tool. It's used for making uh, phone calls, sales automation, you know, text messages, so many different uh, use cases, you know, uh, CRM for your customers, uh, taking forms, all that. <clears throat> so I'm waiting for Mark to join me. I see him, he texted me here. Uh, so it's going to be, it's now 11.57. No, it's right now, uh, sorry, 12.02. He sent me a message three, four minutes ago. So I sent him the link to join me. Hopefully he's there. Uh, he's going to join us. So just wanted to make sure I didn't keep anybody in suspense. But if you have any questions in the meantime, keep asking while he joins us. Probably has something to do with uh, with him trying to join. Let me see if he called. He didn't call. Okay. Mm, let's go. One second. I'm going to just remind him that we're live here. Oh, he's here. We're still on. We're still on. Jerome, we're here. Uh. <clears throat> okay, excellent. Say it, hey, and then hey, Mark. Yeah, I sent you. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. So on perfect he's coming you he say he's joining setting up okay let's go okay in the meantime if you have questions please ask so that he can answer them ask as many questions as you have while he's getting ready to set up okay uh, it's gonna take him a minute or two so let's do the uh, let's ask as many questions as we can it's a good tool. I like it. So let's go. Okay, you ready? Let's go. You ready? You ready? You can hear me? <laughs> okay, welcome. Mark Helton is finally here. So let's see if we can hear you. Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, bring as many questions as you have. Jerome is asking questions. Okay, good. That's good. Okay. Um, so tonight, what's the topic? What are we talking about? Well, last time when we were here, we met. We left off at um, the SMS, right? Yes. Hmm. We talk about the SMS. I can't. I I know there was something we were going to take. In the okay, consideration. Let me, see, let me see if Jerome can remember that. The ringless voicemail. Okay. Uh, not really. You don't need to. Everything is done by Twilio, right? He's asking if. No. If, if no. Yeah. So. Let's let's talk about this. Yeah. Yeah. So ringless voicemail. All right. There are other companies out there that try to do ringless voicemail. Mm -hmm. And they fail at it miserably. Right. Um, they are offering some kind of a strange solution that basically jams two phone calls mm -hmm. in at the same time. Mm -hmm. And when those two phone calls jam somebody's phone, phone line, then they try to slide that third call in straight to voicemail. Mm -hmm. So it's happening like two and then one. The right. problem with that is, is it doesn't really work that way a lot of times. So you tend, uh, you tend to ring their phone. So there's a company 
that is called Sly Broadcast. Mm -hmm. And Sly Broadcast is actually the owner of that is uh, is actually the found the um, the founder of ringless voicemails. I mean, he is the one who actually invented them right. and he has a patent on it. So not only did he invent them, but he has a patent on them and, and uh, he just does it the best. So we've been using them since the beginning, mainly because one, they don't ring. If they do, it's very rare. It happens right. Two, uh, they, um, if they have a problem with something, they fix it like right away. So mm -hmm. are they the cheapest? No. Are there cheaper ones? Yeah, absolutely. But we were working with a lot of um, auto dealership clients and big companies. And, and so for us, like, it was like, okay, we can save a penny maybe or a half a penny or whatever it is. I'm just, it right. could be less, but mm -hmm. we can save a little money here and make our customer upset and lose them here. Hmm. Thousands of dollars versus tens of dollars. Yeah, we're going to stick with we're going to stick with Sly Broadcast. So, right. I mean, that's kind of the way I think. Um, I know everybody's always, especially in here, right? Everybody is very um, into saving money. And I love saving money. But sometimes you really sacrifice quality for that that savings. So, um, yeah, that's all I can I know that's a long answer to what Jerome asked, but I want to make sure you guys are clear because if somebody reaches out to me and they're like, hey, you know, I heard of Drop Cowboy. They got blah, blah, blah. And this, you know, ringless voicemail. I mean, actually, Drop Cowboy is a real company, by the way. Uh, all these different guys, they have these cheaper rates. These guys over at, at Sly Broadcast are so expensive. It's right. not It's not like that cut and dried. Trust me. Like, or Do we need to... Do we need to buy it from? Yeah, yeah. Slide you buy it from them. You don't pay us for for those ringless voice. We have program. integration, direct yes. integration. Yeah. Okay. You just put in your username and password from Ring Central, and it connects. And that's the. I just wanted to answer the question of first of why it's Ring Central, or um, uh, slide broadcast. Yeah. Slide broadcast. Why mm -hmm. it's slide broadcast? Before I say, you know, hey, we're not going to integrate, you know, with other people, um, right. because it doesn't. There's just. It's no comparison. Good. Okay, that's a good question. So uh, thanks, Jerome. By the way, Jerome is asking good questions. When we purchase the numbers from inside Hot Prospector, who do we purchase from Twilio or Hot Prospector? So when you when you first set up your Hot Prospector account, you're going to go into the top right hand corner, and it's going to ask you to connect your phone service, which is Twilio. So you got to follow the instructions on the right. There's uh, some videos on how to go in and set up your Twilio account. Once you set up your Twilio account, set up your API and all that stuff, you plug it into Hot Prospector and then everything happens. Your phone numbers are purchased from inside of Hot Prospector, your minutes you know, are used from phone calls, text messages, all of those things from Twilio, that all happens automatically. But you purchase your numbers inside of Hot Prospector However, it's coming out of your your Twilio bill. Good, excellent, excellent. Okay, uh, this is a good question. So this is this is pretty. I think we did this the first night. I don't know if you watched the first video. Can you discuss the wide label domain setup, please? If you have an existing domain, what's the procedure? Can you quickly yeah. show him? Or <clears throat> I'm I'm sure we went through this, right? Yeah. Let me uh, stop my screen share first. Because you know how that goes every single time. Restream. They decide. Yeah, the, first, they the first video would have covered all of that if you didn't watch. Let's see. So, by the way, our team is doing their work right now. So, if I don't think it's going to go down now. Yeah. If the system gets slow, that's why. The other thing, too, is also in the process of uh, an upgrade on our server. I don't know if that's going to happen now or later tonight. Okay. But anyways, um, inside of the settings area here, I just click on settings, right, under the profile right. icon, settings. Right. 
the advanced tab of white label domain here. And so here you just put in your business information and then your name of your, your, uh, your domain name that you're pushing, and then you click submit. On the second page here, there's, a, there's some information it's gonna ask you for. Really don't, let me try. I don't wanna, I don't think it'll mess up mine. Right. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Yeah, that's fine. Are you there? Me? Yeah, okay, so that, that question is, I think he, he, we probably misunderstood. The question he was asking was more like, he knows how to set it up, uh, that's fine. If I already have my domain, can I use it? Yes, of course, of course you can use it. Well, yes, domain. but if you wanna use a subdomain, Mm -hmm. Then here, let me just, let me show you this. Right. I'm not going to let me do that because I have a, uh, let me see. Um, I don't think this one is. Okay. Here it's asking for you to do this, this here, hold on one second here. Is there a way to pause this? Give me one second. I'm going to actually, you know what? So if you want to do, if you want to do a, um, Mm -hmm. A subdomain. Sorry, give me one second. There's going to be a different code here. Well, look, for right now, I'm just going to just say this is where you're going to go. I'm going to have the team add that additional step in there or that additional option. Because right. there's another, uh, a, instead of doing the, the name servers, there's an A record that you can add with our, with our, um, with our um, server IP. Yeah, Sorry. yeah name, name servers, a little bit too much, yeah. Yeah, instead of the name servers, you just uh, point the A record at us. and C record, and... A record, right? Yeah, if you're yeah. using subdomain, yeah, I think you should add that information. Yeah, it, it normally is. I don't know why it's not in there. That's that's why I mm -hmm. was paused. Take note, take note. Don't forget, send it to them now. <laughs> yes, boss. Yes, boss. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's that number? No, you can only connect. Uh, you can only connect. You can only connect Twilio. They're asking if they can connect another tool called Ligna, but they give you numbers. But I don't know if that's possible. No, we can't do that. Okay. Yep. So that's true. Okay, good. Uh, another question. Okay, never use price. Somebody wants to buy for three. Uh, yeah, well, this is good. Somebody said I had a conversation with, but he couldn't answer on your behalf. So, why not? no, this is not, I couldn't answer. It's like I have nothing to do with Video Prospector Pro, those are old products, right? What happened? But, uh, yeah, <laughs> wait, who, who is that? Who brought that up? Some guy is saying he's coming from that old, uh, yeah, what's his name? Because I addressed him inside of the yeah, um, yeah, I already answered those questions, right? Yeah. So, um, I, I what mean, what was it, the question? No, I was asking if you can get the 10% discount that expired. The thing is, there are a lot of people who bought after. And just to be fair to everyone, we're not going to make any changes up on that. It's, it's not fair, but uh, it doesn't help if you ask in the public or in private. I, I would have made it easier if you ask in <laughs> private. 
The thing is, I know that there are so many customers who buy tons of deals from us every year. And if they miss the 10% discount for Black Friday, they missed it, unfortunately. Uh, okay. But that, but the deal is still on, by yeah, the way. Yeah, you're getting double the limit. So if you yeah. are not happy with that, I mean. That's huge. Yeah, that's a big deal, right? I mean, honestly, I'm, I've am been thinking about just saying we should probably end it like next week. Yeah. Well, I mean, like just that time's just coming. Wait, uh, yeah. That time's coming for sure. Just make a time limit because if they don't sell out, then, you know. That's it. Yeah. Okay. We, but we've, we've been doing a lot of product education for those people who bought it. So I'm actually enjoying it. This is good. Um, but understand that we have customers, more than 10,000 of them with digital thing. And they have been buying so many products so they understand the rules you know otherwise what's the point of telling people 10 percent is going to end if we're going to offer uh, offer this the same thing again the pricing this pricing will never come back this is our agreement between me and mark so you're gonna this is the best it ever gets even if it ever comes back on ltd in any other place on digital thing it doesn't matter it will not be the same price right so uh, just take advantage, especially with the double the uh, the limits right now that you have. Okay, another question. Can we develop custom fields? Yeah, we talked about that, right? Can we develop custom fields and have them shown only when I select specific groups? specific that is to the type of group selected. I, are you asking about field groups? Like, are you speaking field about, mm -hmm. are you, do you mean like groups of fields? Because we, um, we do have groups, field groups currently. Um, yeah. Already. There is one feature that we are going to be introducing to the custom field soon, which will allow us to um, change the, um, will actually allow us to archive the, the custom fields because currently you can only add fields. You cannot delete them because of this, you know, because of the data. So it doesn't allow us to do it, but we're going to make it so you can hide it and hide the data in those fields. If you're, if you're like me and you just add fields for no reason, then go back later and wish you didn't add them. Cause I've got probably more fields than anybody in the system. This is a good question. Does your team do done it for you set up? We do offer that as a paid service. So if somebody wants fast start or, uh, our, um, what do you call it? Um, yeah. Done for you services. We do offer that. Just reach out to support and they can tell you about those things. Excellent. Give me one sec. I want to close my door. Oh, okay. Good questions coming. Okay. Somebody said this has been more successful affiliate, a perfect SaaS for rent and rent. So if somebody is doing that kind of business, definitely it's very good. And again, don't forget, Reputation management is coming. It's actually on the road. So they're releasing this maybe in the next, you know, few weeks. So, so, so Mark, yeah. And um, somebody saying this, this tool is perfect for the rank and rent type of businesses. So now your voice is gone, brother. You go out, the voice goes out with you. Not yet. Okay, the Bluetooth. Can you hear me now? Now I hear you. I pushed my mute by mistake. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what rank and rent tools are, um, you know, what, what, what tools are good for rank and rent. Mm -hmm. I know people that do rank and rent, but I'm not sure. So I wouldn't be able to answer that. I apologize. Okay uh good well the reputation management tool is that is that going to be in the next few weeks yeah we're working on it um there we're creating right now the um the app is in a is we're in, waiting for approval from google right and once that gets approved then 
we can finish up our final details. We're just trying to make it simple for everybody to be able to connect their, their businesses. Great, excellent, excellent. Any other question? Any other question? Okay. Let me see, some more questions coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it comes with phone, IVR, yes. Auto invoice for leads, big market, yep, excellent. Okay, somebody said, I missed a few of the past videos. Are there tutorials from A to Z on how to use the in the dashboard? There's videos being added all the time. We had a, a huge user interface update. And uh, when we did that, we, we had to start over from scratch on all of our videos. So our support team has been putting them together as they are creating... Uh, you know, as they can, as, as much as fast as they can. But there right. are some videos in there. There's there's a couple of different series of videos. Um, and then, like I said, I, last time this came up, I think you guys should watch these videos. Yeah. I mean, I all also on my YouTube channel. If you look at if you look at digital thing on YouTube, you should be able to see all the videos I uploaded there as well. Yeah. And you should, you guys should uh, go and check out my YouTube channel as well. Yeah. I also do not just like how to use the system but how to make money with it because to me like that's the most important thing i really truly believe that once you start clicking around and using stuff and trying things you'll see it's it's very simple it, right it, it's user friendly very very powerful yes it's just a lot to to i think when you first look at any tool with a lot of buttons yeah it is it is setting up the first time can be a bit tricky once you set it up you're going to be very happy that's what I've just realized. Okay, good. Any other questions? Any other questions? Let's see. Okay, everybody's asking questions. So, mm -hmm. excellent. Oh, that's good a comment. I see that. Uh, oh, this is another question coming. To have access to the round robin feature, must have yep. must there have to be more than one one member? Yes, yes. to have one member, uh, because the round robin a works number? off of. I'm sorry. A number as well, a different number. No, it, the numbers don't have anything to do with it. It's it it, it just um, and when you say round robin, Jerome, I think you're talking about the uh, the lead distribution tool. If that's the case, the lead distribution tool, uh, round robin lead distribution tool does, you have to be a member to be able to get leads in the system. We're actually oh, working on, we're working on hopefully getting a huge deal with a big uh, paper lead company to do their um, lead distribution. So mm. something to keep in mind. I mean, th this is a very powerful tool. Like I think I went in through, did I go over that the first night at this or one of those nights, second or third night? Mm. I don't remember. I thought I went over that tool. All right. Another question coming. Can you tell me more, more about the VIP marketing services and the cost for so that? My specialty is the, uh, in the, in the telemarketing space lead generation telemarketing space so i offer helping agencies i offer to help agencies set up a entire lead generation system that is from you know finding the lead online like grabbing the information harvesting their information to doing a cold outreach to that lead through email and then follow up with phone calls and schedule is qualifying and scheduling appointments for them. So that's our VIP marketing services. We do also have um, the ability for you guys to hire or to have us uh, do custom web development as well. So if you have like websites that you want to have done outside of the templates, you can, you can submit a request through support for those things as well. We do what, but what I'm really good at is helping you generate leads through that matter of fact i talk a lot about it in you know on my facebook and inside my youtube if you want to build an agency 
that is going to be from 23, from 2023 and beyond the top earning agency, have a top earning, a top earning potential in your agency, I would highly suggest you consider starting an outsourcing type agency with Hot Prospector, um, mainly because a lot of businesses always need help, right? With the supply chain issues and all of the stuff that happened during COVID, that really made things, um, it magnified things. Plus, people got used to working from home. They saw that it's possible. So when you talk about hiring an offshore uh, or even a nearshore or onshore person, um, if you're a lot more open to it. So we make we make a, a big part of our revenue is coming from that, from our off, from our offshore outsourcing agencies. But I don't just sell it like, hey, you know, outsourcing. I mean, I also set up like systems and deploy systems for them in their business using Hot Prospector. Good, excellent. Okay, another question: How active is the talent hub? Because there's uh, that place within the system where you can hire VA, VA right, to call to make the calls for you. I think Jerome would make an awesome uh, in, in interviewer. Like he, yeah. <laughs> he could be like, uh, like you know, work and get a job for Dateline or something. Right. Um, yeah. So it's 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 it, we get new candidates every day, or at least every week, a pretty good amount of candidates. It's not as active as I'd like it to be. It's more active. It, it would be more active if we had more jobs on the on the uh, the directory. So, personally, um, I'd love to see a lot more people putting jobs inside of our talent hub and hiring people in there. But again, it's it's um, it's a work in progress. Good. I think we have probably like around I don't know fifteen hundred people in there. Mm -hmm. Not a lot, okay. but but we're trying to grow that. And the and as far as the quality is concerned, they're good. Like all the people that we put in there in the beginning, yeah. I listened to all of them myself personally and trained uh, our recruiters who have to listen to the to their 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 script um, demo, and then also we they they have to go through an audio or a video interview. Good, excellent. I like the feature, and I would probably look for a talent there. Yeah, so for those of you who didn't, you know, click around everywhere on the platform, there's this area called the Talent Hub within the platform where you actually have so many VAs who can make voice calls for you. You know, if you want to, if you don't want to pick up the phone yourself, you can hire them and you can see how much hourly rate they, you know, they, 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 they charge you for it. And then you can actually listen to their voice, like how they sound, you know, because they have that voice recording there. So, uh, yeah, that's something that's available. And that's that, that, that that's what the question was all about, right? So just to make sure that everybody understands what we're talking about, because sometimes you can be lost, you know? Right. Gerald looks like he's doing a lot of, he did his he's homework. Like, he's, he's not only just a good questions asker, he's like very investigative. He should be an investigative reporter. He's really yeah. good. And I get at least two two reminders from him every day that it's time to go live. <laughs> nice. Oh man, I think Jerome connected with me um, on Facebook, so that's oh, I, okay. I have something to look forward to. Yeah, Mike, Mark, Mark, Mark's on also Facebook. Everybody can you know can add him there, and of course reach out to him in case of anything. Yeah, the support team is also very powerful. So let's talk about the payroll feature. We we're gonna talk about this. That thing is powerful. Yeah. So, yes, so yesterday, uh, actually this morning, I set somebody up on that. Yeah. Do you want to see it? Yes. That's what we were going to talk about tonight. We forgot. That's, that's right. Well, the good news is, is it's not too like difficult. I think it's one of our simpler features. Okay. Um, Share the screen. Let me shut off my camera again because... Mm -hmm. If I don't, you guys are not going to be seeing me freeze. Right. Okay, here we go. I'm learning how this restream likes to work on my computer. All right. So there is a really awesome tool on Hiker that allows you to track your users' 
or your uh, if you if you use hot prospector to 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 run a cold outreach or whatever track your users activity and calculate all of their payroll for you right mm -hmm. so this this is actually something that you would find inside your dashboard area under payroll you'll be able to see like all of the people that you have for the week or open invoice unpaid invoices invoices that you have uh, over any given time okay now, right. as you can see across the top here, we calculate a lot of different things. So uh, uh, yeah, you got their name, you got their hours, their pay rate, their pay is so efficient that they've earned, which is automatically calculated inside of our system. SPIFs, if you're not familiar with SPIFs, those are uh, things that we offer in sales to our people that are doing sales, uh, like things that they're doing. So for example, like maybe we have a, a daily bonus where it's like anybody, the first person to get uh, a sale today gets, gets, you know, five bucks or something. Right. You can throw that little fee. If you have some kind of a fee that you have to pay to process payroll, you can add that in there. This is just for your own uh, calculations. Here you can see sort of generate uh, like an idea of like what your cost per lead is. And, uh, and then here's your total pay, total cost, the um, pay uh, in US dollars cost because here, you know, I give you the ability to use different currencies. And if you want to know what that breaks down in USD, then mm -hmm. you'll be able to see that. Uh, and then once you finally you know, once you're done, you can approve or reject the payroll. You can also go in and see like the breakdown of the pay of the week, right? Whatever their hours are, how many hours and stuff that they had, what were their um, set, um, actual activities. So you can cal uh, customize the activities. So in this case, I've got outbound, break, lunch, training, break two. And, and so like, that's here inside the time tracker, which we'll go into in just a second. But when they're tracking their time, it automatically splits it up for you. So you can see where they're, they're using their time. Right. And you can also uh, ex download an Excel or a CSV or even a PDF report. So if you're using Hot Prospector to do work for your clients, you can share that with them so they'll have access to it. So that's the report itself. So how do you set it up and how do you use it? Well. First off, you go over here into the settings area. Mm -hmm. And when you get into the settings area, there's a tab here called Dialer Dashboard. Okay. You're going to click on Dialer Dashboard. And then here inside of Dialer Dashboard, you'll see all your members. These are the people that you have in your system already. If you don't have anybody besides yourself, um, I mean, it doesn't team work. members, team? Yeah, team members. Mm -hmm. yeah. So this option here is on dashboard. If you don't have this checked, then they will not appear on your dialer dashboard. So if you don't want somebody's calls to show up for some reason, maybe you don't want the team to know about the secret weapon that you have. I don't know. You can turn them off and they won't be able to be seen on the dialer dashboard or maybe if you have clients you don't want them to show up on the dialer dashboard you can turn them off as well uh, call monitoring this is a feature that we had uh, kind of go out fritz out on us and we're eventually going to get back on this and fix it but basically call monitoring allows you to listen in live on your calls um, to your to your agents user that's the team member that's their name uh, you can set up teams, so that's for your managers for uh, managing these different people. Um, that's up here inside the teams area. So you'd have to create the team first, and then you can assign them. All right. Uh, currency. So you have all of these different currencies that you can use for your hourly pay rate. So you'll put in the pay rate here. Let's say it's five dollars an hour and then you also have the ability to assign a commission plan now we have 
four different types of plans. You have a leads commission plan. This is a plan that would be uh, solely based around a lead, a, a lead type, lead as the commission plan. You have transfer, which means warm transfers that happen from a agent to a, you know, an outside line. Th those live transfers are tracked. So once the transfer actually goes through, that would be considered a transfer. Appointment. Appointments are booked through the uh, through the dialer or through the system. So those are also um, tracked based off of the action of appointment. And then one, one means deals closed, right? That actually got paid or that, you know, the company got the revenue on, they generated revenue, okay? So once you have your plan set up, you would just assign the plan to the user, depending on what type of a, uh, you, you know, what type of a member they are. So for example, uh, Amy here, maybe she is just a lead generator uh, by the way, not just a lead generator. Lead generators are very uh, important. But anyways, you just select your commission plan here. And uh, and then when you click submit, it'll be saved to that user. Now, setting up the commission plans. Our commission plans are, um, are can be multiple, mul can have multiple tiers. So for example, on lead, if I wanted to have three tiers, which a lot of times I do that, um, I would say for deal for leads one to five, I'm going to pay you five dollars, and then from six to ten, I'm going to pay you seven dollars, and then from eleven to fifteen, I'm going to pay you nine dollars, and then let's do one more ten to ninety nine is $10, right? So now I got a multi-tiered com uh, commission plan here for lead generators. Uh, start on Monday and on Saturday, click submit. So now whenever I assign that lead campaign or that lead plan to these users, whenever they generate leads inside the dialer, it's gonna calculate their commissions for them based off of that plan. And then whenever they track time inside of the time tracker, it's gonna calculate their payroll as well. So for example, um, by the way, it looks like you gotta add that decimal pointer, it doesn't save. So, um, you know, for example here, let's say that uh, Amy come in and she worked for, you know, 40 hours times $5 an hour, she gets her 200 bucks. And then let's say that she's on that uh, first tier commission plan. She generated five leads plus, you know, at the $5 level, then she gets her $25 plus that $200. The system's going to calculate all of that for you. And it's going to put it into that, um, that payroll thing that we were just checking out. Okay. Now setting up the payroll, these are all customizable. The way this works when the user logs in, they just come in and click the play button on the activity that you tell them that they should be clicking on when they, they clock in. So in this case, you can see the timers counting down, right? So it's okay if the, the widget's minimized as long as they're logged into the system, uh, it's tracking their time. You can see it's still tracking, but we have a, a set, we set up a feature in here to start a delay countdown when you actually go idle. So do you see there where it's up at the top now, it's also counting my idle time. So you have an option inside of the settings here for the time tracker to do a uh, automatic boot. Uh, you kick the user out when they go idle for too long, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to set that up. If you go over to the other tab and you click on the activities section here, here is your uh, payroll section. So you have the time tracker roles, and then you have time tracker activities. So activities should be created first, and then you should assign those activities to a role. You can assign an activity to multiple roles. So in this case, you see I have an inbound agent and I have an outbound agent. And um, 
you can see I'm, I'm using break one and lunch and training for both. So that's fine. And setting those actions or activities up in here is easy, right? The only reason why you'd break these down like this with the activities is because you want to know what they're doing throughout the day when they, if they have multiple activities. So maybe you have an, a person who's supposed to be sending emails for two hours a day and then also supposed to be making some phone calls for three hours a day. Well, they should come in here and change that activity to sending cold emails, right? Or whatever you, you call that activity, okay? Now, these are the activities inside here. Um, you, can, you can add your own or you can take the ones that are in there by default and you can edit them and name them whatever you want, okay? Matter of fact, I think today we changed one and this guy called it punch in, wait. He changed outbound to, which actually isn't a bad, bad idea, punch in, punch out. So that way someone knows that's how they log in or that's how they clock in and that's how they clock out, okay? So the, um, the, act, the maximum activity time, what is that? Well, that basically means that they can't track any more than that number for that activity in a given day. So 420 minutes is seven hours, I believe. 420 divided by 60. Seven, yeah. So seven hours on that one activity, but you can edit that. So if you're like, no, I want them to be able to dial 10 hours a day. Okay, just, it's minutes. So you just add another, you know, X number of minutes to, to make it so they can, they can log more hours if you want them to. I do this because, you know, I don't let my callers work more than a certain amount of time. I don't, there, this is not a, how many, how many hours I can accumulate. It's how much money you can make in sales, right. right? So that's why we have that. Idle time, and this again is also in minutes, you set that. And basically what happens is if they're idle for a more than that amount of time, then they get a warning. And then if they don't do something, then they get kicked out. And so that, that they're not going to be, they're not going to be sitting here doing nothing. That's amazing. Feature. And then how do they invoice you? Automatic invoicing for the hours? Uh, so the hours are, so back to the, uh, to the dashboard here, the hours are automatically calculated here, right? Oh. We don't, we don't actually pay the invoices from the system now. We actually built it in to the system to do that, but we, we don't have, we haven't turned it on because really I'm a little nervous about it. I want to test it thoroughly because mm -hmm. the last thing I need is for our calculations to be calculated wrong on our, um, on our, uh, you know, what do you call it? Your currency and instead of taking a hundred dollars out, it takes a hundred thousand out or something. I don't know, something crazy like that. I don't need that happening. So we're just being very careful until we roll that out. But, but currently you can approve the invoices and then just pay them through PayPal. If you do mass pay through PayPal, you could just download the CSV and then you can use that to do a mass pay in PayPal. So if you have a lot of users that you're doing uh, payroll for, you can just use that. So. Right, right. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Yeah, like I said, it's it's one of the it's one of the simplest features I think in Hot oh, inside of Hot Prospect. Yeah, but you can do the manual payment, but can't the invoices just be there without going to the payments? Yeah, the invoices you... the invoices can be look. You can pay the pay pay the um. Here, let me show you how it works. Yeah, yeah. I actually have some old ones in here from uh, our last test. So mm -hmm. this RSL here, right? First of all, let's say that her hours were wrong. Let's say she didn't clock in, which happens mm -hmm. all the time, right? You can adjust her hours. You right. just come in. Uh, no, not on this one. Are you were before. No, I think it's only on. Now you can't actually, you can do it here but it's not the same as going into the detail and do it. Mm -hmm. um, it. It normally is something you can edit here, but this, this invoice is too old, I think. So anyways, normally you can go into the detail, 
for that specific day and calculate those or change those hours. So it's, it's actually really, really good. And then it gives you the ability to add a note there as well. Mm -hmm. so, so you can make sure that, um, you know, why that that hourly rate was changed. So for example, if you had somebody like who's in charge on your team of doing payroll, you don't want them just doing things, whatever they want to do it. And, and then you don't, you know, Right. You know, so the, those top it does top. actually change the pay as you've seen here. I changed it to 20. It will change it. Right, right. It does. Yes. So I'm going to click approve. Once I say approve, it says you can't undo this. I'll just click yes. I also can add a note here if I'd like. And then once it's done, it goes into the unpaid. Mm. So now that it's in unpaid, this gives the person who so this user Araceli, mm -hmm. huh i see an update button as well it's, yes yeah. yeah that's where we can update certain things on the you know total or whatever and add a note um mm -hmm. also here maybe this is where you do the editing no mm -hmm. no it's on the main screen but anyways the the the, the thing about this is the the person who you're paying has the ability to dispute it if if they don't feel their hours are right. So they get this notice and they just say, oh, my hours are off or my commission's wrong. I'm supposed to have, you know, an extra, I had an extra deal, which happens all the time, right? They can dispute, which doesn't mean like what you think it means. And just, it just means, hey, something's wrong. Please fix it. So then you get a notice and then you can fix that dispute or fix that pay. And then uh, once you're done, then you just click pay here. Right. So mm -hmm. Good. pretty, uh, like I said, it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy to use. It's, it's really not complicated. Um, if you've ever done any payroll before. Well, that's another powerful feature. Anyways, people need time tracking tool separately, and then they need it to invoicing tool separately, you know? So everything is to coming together now and they can't make up the time. Like, but how do I know uh, if they were making a call? Does it know from the phone calls or how does it know? Like if they're doing so, some. Yeah, I mean, they know. Them? Yeah, look, you know that they're if they're dialing on the dialer dashboard, first of all, yeah. there's not really a simple way for them to come in and, and, and mess around. Okay, right. like this is my caller today, Ernie. Mm -hmm. Okay, he made 162 calls. Mm -hmm. he had 177 minutes of talk time right right this is only talk time he averaged one minute per call his first call was at 8 17 a.m his last call was at 3 42 p.m and he had an average call gap of one minute and 42 seconds so when i look at this as a manager, I can tell right away whether or not he was really working or not. This is a high call gap for me. I typically like this to be under a minute, but Ernie's still new. And so I'm giving him some time. He's still learning this system, right? So while he's learning the system, you know, he's probably going to be a little bit slower, but once he speeds up, this is going to drop by at least 40 seconds because I know my metrics. And that means this number is going to go up probably by about 30%. And that means that this number is going to go up and that means this number is going to go up, which is how many leads he generates. Right. So this is how I know that somebody is not taking advantage, right? Because I have access to all of these things inside my system. We also do, um, you know, track other aspects of, of the calls, depending on um, what types of things you've turned on inside your system. But um for example, I just turned on a bunch of things. I turned on my conversion rate. I just turned on my uh, call or see my uh, transfer. Hold on, they're over here. Sorry, D decision maker, decision maker tracking, voicemail tracking, drops. These things are done automatically with conversation intelligence if you have that listening. So potential drops are these are the twenty five calls that as a manager I should look at because. So we had a problem. I'll tell you why we built this. We had a problem where we had a bunch of callers and 
that some of them were cheating the system. They were pretending that they were making calls, but they actually weren't making calls. They would come in at the beginning of the day and they would just fake call. Like they'd go next, 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 you know, try to fake out the system. Then they'd take a break for 30 minutes or an hour, go watch TV, come back and do it again. Next, 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 next. So it looked like they were getting a lot of calls, but the call volume was short. And so we added this drop call feature, which basically listens to the call. And so if we hear a call where the, 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 somebody picked up and said, hello, answered, but the agent didn't say anything, then these calls are flagged. So we know to go in and listen to these calls to make sure that the agent isn't, uh, you know, doing what I just told you. But mm -hmm. I usually can tell just by looking at it and that number to tell you right away, like whether or not they're doing that or not, because this does pick up voicemails. And if somebody, hung, if he got a voicemail and hung up, that means it's a drop call, but it's still, it's not a problem. I just, you know, we at least know that it happened. Mm -hmm. So anyways, hopefully that answered your question. All right, good, good question and good answer. Okay, so another question here, can admin managers monitor calls? Can they see incoming calls coming up, customers' information? Can it's admin already... manage? Yeah, that was actually what I was just talking about. That this, yeah. So you could see here, Ernie's hung up, right? But if, if he was green, like that means he's in a call. Right now he's actually, he should be inactive. Watch this, I can kick him out. Let me kick him out, force log out, boop, bye. He should have logged out at the end of the day anyways, by the way. So um, here, as you see, I got a daily report for him. I could see all of his call dispositions for the day, his call statuses for the day, his answer rate, how many answered calls he had, total calls, any leads he generated for the day or the week. But right. um, yeah, so like if, if this was green, if I clicked on this and it was green, then it would pop open his call and I'd be able to hear. The problem is right now we're having a little issue with that. So we have to fix it. Mm -hmm. Notes. Good. Uh, any other questions? Pretty, pretty good. Okay. Excellent. Mark. Good job. Okay. Yeah. That's a very cool, very good feature. So that means your agency has everything you need, you know, to do all your sales, right? Uh, invoices, payroll tracking. I think that's uh, that's a very good feature. We went through. So yeah. I actually have an agency that a big part of what I do is I sell I, I sell a system. I, I, I deploy a system for these businesses. So right. I sell them one cold emailer, one caller appointment center, and then hot prospector. So I combine that entire thing. I charge them $5,000, $4,000 to set it up. And that includes those two people. And then I train those people, put them into the system, and then I charge them monthly for the software. So they pay yeah. their agents directly, $2, $3 an hour for their appointment setter or their emailer, and maybe 4 or $5 an hour for their appointment setter. And they've got an entire system that's generating them leads and Hot Prospector manages the whole thing. Excellent. So that's a managed managed agency or managed service. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but anybody on here can do that. It's really simple. Like, yeah. and what's great is you're using the system to sell the system. Yeah. You can You can very easily generate we we generate anywhere between and look i'm not gonna just say it let me show you uh look <laughs> if you go into your data into my dashboard you can see like today alone we generated six leads in from that one from my caller five from my cold emailers and then you know look at my pipeline for the week it just constantly grows i just started for this month we'll probably i think hopefully we'll probably do 30 30,000 new business this month that's good excellent so you guys can do it i mean it's really simple people want to hire uh uh offshore or even well offshore is very popular right now yeah very very popular Okay, so who's doing the agency? Anybody? <laughs> it's a lot to learn from Mark. Okay, good. I think I went through. Uh, yeah, we did talk about the 
the paid haul. That's a good one. So more questions. No more questions, I guess. I guess we answered most of the questions, went through the paid haul feature. And if there's any more questions, do you see anything I didn't see? Okay. I'm froze again, so. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's time. <laughs> okay. Peter said, let's go. Perfect. Okay. Okay, guys, we're coming to almost one o'clock here. <laughs> it's a little bit late here. Um, so you miss mine. I think I did answer that question, no? Okay, so here's the question. If there is a contact saved in the system, okay, and that person calls in, does it display that information automatically on my dashboard if I am the one answering the call? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we, I think we probably went through that. Um, like one of the first things we did in the night, uh, mm -hmm. one of the first nights. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes, we did. Yeah. Basically the way it works is like, if you're logged into the system and you have your, your phones set to uh, answer inside your browser, then right. when somebody calls, the, there's a, like a little bar that slides across. And when you answer it, it shows it opens up and shows like your entire call. Yeah, everybody the the, the person's information, it shows all of that. Yeah. Yep. Their notes, mm -hmm. their fields, you have the phone script, everything. Excellent. Any questions? Any other question? Mm, I think all the questions are clear. So we have one more session to do before the deal ends. I think we can save that for the last day. Yeah, let's push it out. Yes. <laughs> That's a good day for us to do it. So that way everybody is going to have questions. No, we're gonna... exactly. This will give Jerome at least, I mean, with this amount of time, he might be able to come up with at least 50 questions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Your Q&A, man. Get them ready. Take your time, you know. And then that Maybe night. Maybe you should do some polls. Yep. Yep. But it's a very good tool, guys. You know, when I bring a deal, I don't bring, like, I take my time. So this was a long, long time. Kept following up with Mark, you know? This is number session five. number six. You're right. Is it number six? No, five, five. Session five. five. There's session five. We and, have and, one more to go. One more and, to go. And Mohammed said follow up. He was following up with me. I think we, I think some people call it harassment. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Yes, I've been accused of that in the past. They know this you're, story. <laughs> you're very um, what's the word? Relentless. Yep. Kept asking. Let's get a deal, man. Let's get a deal. There's another guy I used to do the same with, and then he ended up selling the product now. So well, if that's the case, yeah, maybe you're setting people up, those those guys. Maybe you'll see. Yeah. Someone's gonna come in and offer me a, a $20 million. But it's a very good tool. I like it. Like I, I, the whole idea of having SMS, you know, cold emailing, uh, sending, whatever, everything, you know, it's, it's, you know, voice calling, phone systems, voicemails, uh, especially having a slide, a slide broadcast integration. Yeah. That's yeah, a very good voice tool. Mouse. Yeah. 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 And then uh, you have you have like the payroll feature, time tracking. Uh, I get to websites. Whole, you don't surveys. need to get an appointment system where you book your appointments. You don't have to look for another third party software, you know. And it yeah. integrates with your own calendars, you know, on Google, um, Microsoft, all that stuff. So it's it's very very powerful. Okay. Any. Any more questions? No, I think it's coming to one o'clock and it's time to say goodbye to everyone. Uh, really appreciate those guys who are sticking by, following everything here. Uh, we have, we're coming to the end of it. So thank you. Oh, somebody also said it has digital signing. So contracts, yeah, of course. Contracts, 
we actually have some proposal builder that we put in. Yeah. But I haven't made it live. Right. So that, that's also something I'm looking to. I, I it's it's on my back office, mm -hmm. but I might put that out too sometime next year. Right. right. So, so that's good. So a lot of a lot of good things here. So invoicing, you know, it's it's very powerful. So take advantage, you know. And um, I hope we'll see you guys soon. And thank you, Mark, for your presentation. As always, we enjoy your sessions. You're the best teacher. Thanks. I appreciate it. You're a good teacher, too.